the formula I'm going to build now is going to extract records from this table here that has a value in this column between 0 and 3. And the first thing is to build a logical expression and parenthesis and this value here is going to be smaller than or equal to the values here and then enter this as an array formula press and hold control and shift and then press enter once and you can see now that it returns a boolean value true or false but you can only see the first value in this array of values so to see the remaining values extend the formula to cells below and repeat control shift and press enter once to build an array formula and now we can see that all these values here are either equal to zero or larger than zero but we have uh, another condition here and the values must be smaller or equal than 3. So the next logical expression will be this value here must be larger than or equal to the values here. And then an ending parenthesis and an array formula. And The array looks like this. 10 is larger than 3, so it returns false here. And 5 is also larger than 3, so it returns false. 3 is equal to 3, so it returns true here. And the next thing to do is to multiply these two arrays. And to do that, copy the first logical expression and then asterisk and copy the second logical expression and then enter it as an array formula and when you multiply boolean values they return either 1 or 0 and 1 is the same as true and 0 is the same as false. So 1 multiplied with 1 is 1. 1 multiplied with 0 is 0. And so on. So now we know which records are between 0 and 3 in this data set. So to get the values or the records from these cells here, we need to uh, build an array that shows their position. And to do that, use the match function and then the row function and this cell range here, ending parenthesis, comma, row, and the same and an ending parenthesis and another ending parenthesis. Enter this as an array formula and we now have an array of values that shows the position of each value. So now we can use the if function to uh, extract the, their positions. Copy the formula and then equal sign if function. The logical test is are the both logical expressions and then a comma. And the second argument in the if function is the values we want if it is true. And 
that will be the row numbers. And if it is false, we want it to return a blank. Enter it as an array formula. And the values, the row numbers, have now been filtered using the logical expression here. So if this the value in this array returns 1, meaning true, the, the corresponding row number is returned. And if it returns 0, it returns a blank. So now we know where the records are in this table here. So copy the formula and use the small function to extract only values and ignore the blanks. And we will use this later on in the index function in the second argument. And the second argument in the small function will be rows and then expanding cell reference. So the first part must be locked. And the second part is relative. And then extend the no. Then copy this formula to cells below and simply click on the black dot here and then drag to cells below. And this is wrong because I have I need to lock these cell references as well. They will change when I copy the formula the cell and now it should work. And I forgot to change this ref cell reference as well. And now, now we have the, the values here without blanks. So copy this. And now use the index function to get the values of the records we want. So the cell reference is pointing to this data set. Then the second argument is the row numbers we want to use. And the third argument is the column number. So I'm going to use columns A1, A1, and lock the first part of this cell reference. So click on it and press function key F4 to lock it. Then an ending parenthesis. And now enter this as an array formula. And click on the dot to extend it like this and now we can see that it extracts the values from row 1 which is this row found here row 3 this row or record it's found here and the 4 here and then row number 6 1 2 3 4 Five, six, and that is here. Seven is here, here, and the last one is number nine, row number nine, and this row here. 